Hi friends, if you are looking to get Google Chrome on your MacBook, the process is extremely simple. Look for the default browser that is Safari inside your dock area on the bottom. It looks something like this. You can click it to launch the Safari browser or you could simply search for Safari by clicking command and space. So by using spotlight search, which is enabled by pressing command and space together, you can search for Safari inside it. After you have launched Safari, you simply go to the Google Chrome website. The easiest way to, is to just go to Google and say download Chrome. And you will find the Google Chrome latest website. And this is the website. If you want, I'll give you the link in description as well. You click on Google Chrome, download Google Chrome blue button over here and click allow for the download to happen. The download goes up here. You can see the download progress. You are basically downloading a DMG file for MacBooks. If you are initiating this download on some other computer, which is not a MacBook, remember you need to select the Mac version, which will be a .dmg file just like this. The download is not very big. It's around 200 MB in size currently and works with all different types of MacBooks, be it Intel processor or Apple's M series processor. Once this download is completed, you can either double click it right from here to start installing it, or you can find it inside downloads over here in the bottom. Now to simply install Chrome on your computer, you can drag Chrome down to the applications folder, which you can see over here, or you could also manually take it to the applications folder. Now, remember in your case, it will most likely install just by dragging it over here. But as you will see on my Mac, it will demand an administrator user ID and password. That is because I never log into my Mac as a admin for security reasons. So once I drag it, I am, I'm seeing this extra screen which wouldn't happen in most of the cases. So I know my admin ID and password, which I will enter over here now. After I enter my computer's administrator name and password, I will click OK and the installation will proceed. It should take just a few seconds. After unpacking, you can see that this is a 500 MB package. So that's the amount of space it will take on your system. Chrome has now been installed and you may be wondering where it is. So you see this launch pad inside the dock again. If you click launch pad and you swipe or if you hold the screen and go on the other side, you will see a new app Chrome has launched. I can drag and drop it over here so that it is placed in the dock. Another way to launch Chrome will be to again go to spotlights, press command and space and search for Chrome and you can launch Google Chrome on your MacBook. I must mention that Google Chrome is not the most efficient browser. I prefer Safari or Brave browser, but it's your choice which one you would like to use. Do remember that the first time you open the application, you will see a warning like this. Just click the blue button open. It's pretty safe. And if you want to set Chrome as a default browser, there is a button over here which says set as default. If this video has been helpful to you, please do click like and subscribe to my channel. And you can see here Chrome is being naughty. It's asking me for notification permissions. I'm going to go here and say don't allow. But if you like notifications, you can allow it. Bye.